Hello everyone, welcome to CORE 2 for your IGNITE program. My name is Nicole and I'll be your instructor. I have with me today John and Lauren. We'll be teaching you some strong moves today, a little bit higher level than CORE 1 to get some fire burning in that CORE. All right, are we ready? All right, here we go. We're gonna start with a warm up. All right, today's warm up, we're gonna put the left foot forward, right leg back, reach the arms, Opposite, so the right arm is forward, left leg is back, or left arm is back, and it's a pull, reach, pull. So you're moving the whole body here, starting out getting that core warm. Pulling with not just the hip flexor and the knee, but the low belly. Inhale and exhale. Exhale when you pull the knee in, activating your core, pulling. Give me five more on this side. Four, three, two, one, and place the foot down, left leg goes back, reach the left arm forward, right arm back, and here we go, pull, pull. Getting that low belly pulling, exhale, inhale. Use your breath to facilitate the movements. Remember, the muscles need to be oxygenated to perform properly. Pull, five more, four, three, two, one. Put the hands on the thighs. Lift the hips, but stay flat back and go all the way down, touch your toes here. Feel the stretch in your low back. Now you're gonna drop the hips, roll up onto the toes, and then extend the knees and stretch long. Do that again, drop the hips, roll up onto the toes, good, and come back. Now if your flexibility is just not there yet, it's okay, you're just rolling through. We're doing this for the purpose of getting the body warm, getting the joints moving. Inhale, exhale. Two more, one more. Now roll all the way up, set the legs out to the side, toes out, heels in. Here we go with our lunge, hands on the thighs, start to the left, lunge, lunge, inner thigh. Okay, whose hip was that? Oh God, it's gonna be a long 30 minutes, guys. Hang in there, right, left, that was loud. Five more and four. And three, and two, and one. Come all the way over to the left. Turn into your runner's lunge. Take the hands down either side of the foot. Press that right hip flexor down and lift. Lower and lift. Two more. And one more. Go ahead, lift the hips up, but keep the flat back. Straighten the left leg. Hamstring, inhale, exhale. Bend the left knee, rotate through the center over to the right side for your lunge. And drop that left hip flexor down and up. Lower, lift, three more. And two, and one, lift the hips, come to a flat back, straighten that right leg, stretch the hamstring. Inhale, exhale. Bend the right knee, come back to center. Now flatten the hands to the floor here. Turn the feet parallel. You're gonna reach your right hand back to your right calf and take the left hand, reach it around. Look behind you. Feel the stretch in your glute and in your hamstring. Inhale, exhale, try and come a little closer to your thighs with your chest. Hold it there. And come back through center over to the opposite side. Left hand comes to the ankle, right hand comes around and looks back. So you're looking behind your left arm, reaching. Inhale, exhale, chest a little closer to the thigh. And come back through center. Now you're gonna reach your hands underneath you, looking back through your legs. Exhale, inhale, push a little further. One more, inhale, exhale. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Now start to scoop your belly, tuck your chin, let your arms hang, roll up. Walk the feet in as you come up. And plie, inhale up, exhale. Two more, up. One more, up, hold at the top, drop to your left, go all the way around through center. Get that core, we want that to be nice and warm, yes? Opposite side, to the right. And push the arms back, clasp the height, drop them down below the hips, and look up to the sky. And let's get started. Are we ready, gang? All right, your first move is your high plank with a side shuffle and a reach. So we're gonna come down to our knees. 
putting our hands in that high plank. So you're right onto the toes, right onto the hands. Shoulders are right over the elbows. You want to move slowly, stepping right for two, and reach the left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg, controlling the abdominals the whole time. Okay, are we ready? All right, we have 60 seconds here. So draw the abs up and in, neck in line with the spine, starting to the right. Here we go, right, right. So reach your left arm and your right leg, your right arm and your left leg, and move, move. So you're squeezing your glutes together every time you move. You should be activating, pulling up through the pelvic floor, engaging the abdominal, cinching the waist. Left arm and right leg and switch and step, step, reach. When you reach, feel your center get long, your belly button pulling in and step. I know these are hard. Hang in there at home, reach and reach, step, step, we're almost there, reach. Reach, one more, and left arm right leg, and reach, oh my goodness, and stretch it back. That was a great start to the workout. <laughs> All right, your next move, our swimmers. So you're coming down, prone position, all the way down to the belly. Right here, you're gonna reach your arms long and your legs long in opposition. Your move is to flutter kick the legs, but reach the right arm, freestyle, then the left arm. Breathing each time. Are we ready? All right, I'm not a swimmer, so I may drown. <laughs> Here we go. All right, start. Flutter kick, reach right and left. Now my abs are not just hanging out on the mat. They are pulled up and in. I'm squeezing my glutes and my inner thighs. Use your breath. Inhale, exhale, kicking. So all your body is engaged, belly is active. Back is nice and straight in the natural curves of the spine, squeezing. Reach, reach, reach. Use your breath. Hang in there. Swimming is hard work, especially when you don't have the water. <laughs> reach and reach. Few more. Reach, keep going. And four, three, two, one. Press the palms down and come up. Scoop your belly, tuck your chin, really round that back. You're in a slight extension there. Inhale, exhale. Nice work. All right, going into your Side line marching, or single leg marching, I should say. So come down to a seated position. Grab your bar. You're at the white marks. Now here you're gonna roll all the way down onto your back. Take your bar overhead, so it's over your chest actually. Your wrists are right over your shoulders. From here you're gonna lift up into a bridge. So your hips are lifted, go ahead and lift. All right, extend your right leg to the ceiling. Point the toe. All right, here we go. We're gonna lower and lift the right leg. Starting the timer now, 30 seconds. It's down and up. The ideal here is to keep the movement of the bar right in the center between your hands if you can. You're nice and level, core is holding. Inhale up, exhale. Well, we're doing good, not too much movement. We're kind of quiet, yes? Good, keep going. I feel my left glute, but you have to stabilize that pelvis. Oh, there it went. <laughs> I heard a move. Try not to tilt in the pelvis. A few more. And take the right leg down. Extend the left leg up. Here we go. It's lower and lift. Hear that shifting. You know you need to adjust your pelvis, adjust your shoulder girdle. Abs pulling up and in. Engaging that entire core. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Hold steady. Keep pushing straight up. Push your arms right up out of that shoulder girdle. Reach, lower and lift. A few more. 
three and two and one and take it down nice job come all the way up all right we're going into our single arm side plank all right these are tough so get ready <laughs> we're gonna lie on our right or right side yes you're going into a stacked position so here's one where you want to do beginners or a little more advanced if you are a beginner you could keep your knee down however I'd like to see you really try and stack those feet take the bar up hold at the center right where the logo is and push up into your plank position all right are we ready up start oh my <laughs> this is a kicker so if you hear the movement you know that your body's engaging to try and keep yourself steady ah, make sure your shoulders plugged in your shoulders are stacked right on top of one another even though you're in that t pose stay there feel that shake ah, oh my gosh what weight do you have man <laughs> i'm struggling with this one hold steady a few more seconds then we switch to the other side and come down Woo. other side that was tough we're all breathing hard so i know you're breathing hard all right here we go flip around hold at the logo stack those feet again if you need to be on that left knee i get it start where you're ready and then work your way up from there ready push up all right here we go time 30 seconds we've got this if you think you can you can hold steady oh i'm quiet on this side look at that <laughs> you'll always find that you have a dominant side inhale exhale pull your belly up and in squeeze your inner thighs everything's working head in line with the spine stay there and bring it down oh wow i'm sweating are you sweating are you sweating i'm sweating yeah <laughs> okay going into your single arm sit up all right now plant your feet anchor your heels your feet are flexed pull your belly up and in this is a one arm sit up 30 seconds on each side hold again at the logo push your bar all the way up hold steady now you're gonna come back all the way down and then sit all the way up again trying to keep the movement at a minimum all right are we ready okay here we go inhale exhale down and exhale come up good so try to keep the weight shift it to the middle right between the white lines if you don't don't worry you're working on that core every time it hits an end cap you're engaging inhale good exhale a few more seconds on this side come on we've got this and come up squeeze the glutes one more down and up all right now grab with the other hand and switch now if you need to you can always use your hand to push all the way up but try to work from that core that's what we're doing right building a firm foundation your core is your tree your powerhouse and up use it a well-developed core means everything else on the outside works fabulous down and exhale up five more seconds hang in there oh and that's it because my arm was giving out <laughs> all right decompress your wrist a little bit okay going into your standing walking rotation so come on up all right now this one holding at the white marks so step back a little bit onto your mat all right you're going to walk and reach your bar to your forward leg so it looks like this it's a walk and step and then step back and step hitting purposely into the end cap so that your abs have to engage okay we ready here we go now you can bring it in if you're a beginner but try and reach your bar so that it's reaching around your body okay all right I'll start beginner and then move on ready here we go you step and step now step back and back good reach good reach so this is your advanced 
and root, root. I feel my core every time my obliques kick in. Reach, reach, step. Use your breath. Oxygenate those muscles. Again, 30 seconds to go. We've got this. And right, left, back, and step. Good. All right, we should have our whittles middled. Middled whittles. Sculpted center, how about that? All right, three more seconds. And last one. Nice work. It's nice and rhythmic. <laughs> All right, single leg deadlift with hip extension and your balance press. So you have two moves in one. You get more bang for your buck with this. All right, so you're gonna come into a deadlift position. So extend your left leg back. Pull the bar, or I'm sorry, extend the bar long. So you're into that deadlift position. You're going to reach, extend the leg up, and then bend your elbows, flex the knee, press up overhead. Okay, then back to that deadlift. All right, we have 30 seconds on each side. All right, here we go, are we ready? So let's get into position. All right, here we go, start. And it's lift the leg, and then flex, and push up. Knee and arms, good. And reach low, leg is out, and pull it in and press. So again, because you're in a balanced position here, try and keep the bar movement to a minimum. <laughs> That's not happening, is it happening? <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, one more on this side. And press, good, other side. So left leg down. Reach low with the bar, extend the right leg back. Here we go. So it's back, lower the bar, then come up, press the shoulders, lift the leg, and down. Lift, pull it up, and press. Ooh, I'm quiet on this side. That's amazing how one side is always more dominant. Pull, reach, and push the knee and the arms. Couple more, hang in there. Ooh. One more, yikes, and come up. <laughs> All right, nice work. Cross over side bends. All right, so you're grabbing at the white marks. Now you're either holding the bar close or overhead. All right, I'll hold close, you all can hold overhead. We're gonna step the left leg over to the right first. All right, and you're gonna tip to the side here. So it looks like this and this. Okay, you wanna feel the, the motion of the bar hit to the end cap so that you can engage the abs. Are we ready? Here we go. Step. Good, feel your side flexion. Every time it hits, reach. Good, reach. Cross that leg behind, make that end cap come to the back leg. Reach, inhale, exhale. And reach. Good. Side to side. Even doing it in the beginner's phase, I feel my abdominals around to the back, even into the legs a little bit. The whole core working. Come on, hang in there about 25 seconds. You've got this. Reach. I hear you breathing, John. <laughs> Breathe. Just don't turn blue on me, man. We've got it. A few more. Doing okay at home. Push through. Dig deep. A few more. One more. Oh, nice work. All right. Bend over bar into belly. This time, balance and hip extension. So similar to the deadlift, holding the bar at the white marks. Okay, let's start with the right leg again, lunge forward. Left leg back. You're gonna hold here, pull those elbows back, lift the leg, and then it's an up and down movement from the glute. All right, are we ready? Okay, here we go, pull it in tight. Here we go, and it's lift, lower. So we have 30 seconds here for each side, up, down. So I'm squeezing my glute, but I'm also pulling in on my abs. Belly is up and in, cinch the waist. Because I'm only on one leg, 
unilateral work. I have to work the abdominals to keep a balance. Up, down. I hear some balls moving around in there. Keep them quiet, shh. Work. Two more. One more. Take the left leg down. Lunge forward with the left leg, right leg comes back. All right, same movement. Ready? Lift that leg, here we go, up and down. Pull that bar up into the belly. Engage the abs. Engage the glute. Up, down, reach. It's like you're reaching in opposition, toes reaching to the back wall. Lift, lower. Squeeze the glute on the left side. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Don't do like me and start tipping. Ah, hold steady. Keep that momentum still in that bar. One more. And come down. Nice work. Okay, we have single leg balance combined with the steering wheel. This is a one leg, like a one leg lunge or squat. But you're gonna do it with a, a turn of the bar like a steering wheel. So standing on the right leg, come into a lunge position. So slightly bent, turn the bar. You can take an inhale and lunge and turn the bar at the same time. So every time you twist and hit the end cap, you sink deeper into that thigh and glute, okay? All right, Lauren's like, are we serious about this? <laughs> All right, here we go. 30 seconds on each side. And down, and down, good. So each time you tip that bar, feel the weight, feel your abs pull up and in. Extension, you should feel them like a corset. Pulling in and around. Good. Hold steady there. 15 seconds left on this side. Good. Nice rhythm. As you get better with this, you can go lower and maybe move a little faster. I don't know. The last time I said that, John made me look poofy. <laughs> All right. Other side. Left knee. Get into that bent position. Turn the bar. Here we go. It's down. Down. See, here we go. You feel it. The left side, it's actually working. Up and down. Lunge. Start to build that side that's weaker, engaging those abs. Lunge. Good. A few more. Hang in there. Woo, my leg is burning. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh. Nice work. All right, our last move. Okay, this could get ugly, folks. <laughs> Not really, this is a nice challenge for the body. We have a plank bar hold, but this time it's with a 90 degree leg extension. So, come down. Let's start on the left hip. All right, just like we did that plank hold with the stacked feet, this time, place the hand down, extend your legs long, Take that bottom leg out in front of you. Hold it there. Push the right arm up with the bar. Now this is your start. So start the time. Yes. And we're here. Now if you want to get sassy, John, <laughs> flex the foot. Draw the belly up in it because you have to engage your abs to do this. Pick it up. And then try and still keep the movement of the bar quiet. Hold it there. Are you doing this, Lauren? <laughs> I can't see you back there. I'm trusting you to suffer with us. <laughs> Five seconds. I'm shaking. <sighs> One more. Down. That was awesome. Other side. We can do this because we think we can. All right, extend the legs long. Left arm has the bar right at the logo. Push up into that one arm plank. Make sure that wrist is right under that elbow. All right, now push that right leg out front. Now hold it there. Okay, now let's see if we can lift this leg. 30 seconds. Hold it there. Oh, lift. Try and keep the movement at a minimum. Shifting of the weight inside. Hold. Draw the belly up and in. Oh, this one's harder. I know. This is the longest 30 seconds. Hold steady. We're good. Pull that belly up and in. Keep it up there. Come on, don't give up on me now. Three, two, one. Oh, wow, we lived, <laughs> we're all sweaty now. <laughs> nice work. All right, we're gonna actually use this for our cool down. 
It can be our friend now. All right. Take the bar just right here in front of you. And I want you to be on your knees, holding on, hands just wrapped around. Take an inhale, exhale, tuck your chin, scoop your belly, push the bar away as you pull your hips back. Feel the stretch underneath your arms. That feel good, gang? Inhale and exhale. Drop your chest a little bit, start to arch your back. There you go. And then come up, round it back again. Good, inhale, drop your belly. Ah, stretch back into your glutes and exhale, round up. One more, inhale. And exhale. Come all the way up tall. All right, let's stretch out those quads. Keep this to your side, you can use it as an anchor again. Right arm has it, left leg comes forward. All right, oh, I'm sorry, right leg comes forward, that's bad, because you wanna put this next to the leg and then grab the left side. So bend that left knee so you can grab the foot and stretch the quad. Inhale, exhale. I'm still breathing hard. <laughs> when you activate your core, you warm up the whole body. It's your furnace, your powerhouse. Use it, makes everything else work better. All right, release the leg and other side. Bring the bar over, left hand on. Okay, now reach the left leg forward, or right leg forward. Nope, I'm right. <laughs> okay, I'm, now that I'm slightly confused, bring your right foot up, grab, stretch. Pull the heel to the glute, inhale, and exhale. Oh, that feels good. Inhale and exhale again. And reach the toe down. All right, now place your bar down. Let's go into that down dog stretch. Push your palms down, curl the toes under, hover at the knees, and then go ahead and straighten the knees. Push the heels down. Spread them as wide as your mat. There you go. Now take your right hand and reach it back if you can to your left calf. Grab it and look underneath your left arm. Inhale, exhale. Hold it there. And reach the right arm forward. Left arm comes back to the right calf. Grab, look underneath your right arm. Inhale, exhale. And reach it forward. Now walk your hands back to your heels and grab behind your heels if you can, or right at your ankles, and pull your face towards your knees. Feel the blow back stretch. In and out. And then start to roll yourself up. Stacking your spine, one vertebra at a time. Come to center, drop the chin down, and lift up, inhale. Exhale, right back to neutral spine. Awesome job, guys. I'm sure you all did an awesome job at home. Thank you for joining us for our core two. If you did core two, you're super strong from the inside out. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you soon.